Hi everybody. Today I wanted to put you put together a little guide uh, in terms of uh, how to um, use uh, uniswapri.com and especially how to read the different numbers and different RI calculation you'll find in there. uniswapri.com is this tool uh, that helps you manage uh, liquidity uh, investment in Uniswap, help you track what pools to invest in, and monitor the performance of your investment if you have any. So to start, uh, we, we can do it from, look, watch how to use it from the start. You go on uniswapri.com and, and then you click on login. You, you'll get, uh, click on get started if you don't have an account. It's easy to create one, it's anonymous and it's very fast. Now, once you get to the home page, what you uh, what you have to do is just uh, paste in in the search bar the Ethereum address you want to analyze, um, and this this has to be the, the Ethereum address you use to uh, to invest and provide liquidity into Uniswap. Um, if you don't have one, you can also uh, click here and load an example, and then click on analyze ROI. So that will uh, will essentially load up the analysis for a, an Ethereum address, uh, which is uh, whatever is is real. Um, because I just remind you, you know, you can analyze any Ethereum address, any address in the blockchain, and I will give you a nice example to start with. Now, when you uh, click on analyze your RI, just mind that the first time it may take a few minutes because the system needs to look into all your investment history for Uniswap, rebuild the investment, and and calculate all the all the numbers. Uh, the next times it will be much faster because all the history is already pre-built. Now, I want to show you and, and walk you through all these numbers because it, Uniswap is a very uh, sophisticated machine, very smart, actually very simple in their formulation, but the uh, understanding if it works, the uh, returns is actually pretty complicated. So I wanted to make a little explainer here on how you should read the different numbers. Now, when you click on analyze your array, you will get a row for your address, which will look something like this. So you have the um, the address number obviously you can also click on this cross to uh, uh, to delete uh, you know the analysis for this address uh, you can have by the way more than one so if you have more uh, than one address you are using for Uniswap you you can uh, see all them here um, but then you will see the current values this is the value of uh, the Uniswap investment related to this account in US dollars. And then you'll see uh, three ROI numbers. We're going to look into them. And by the way, these three um, ROI numbers will essentially um, uh, appear all, all across the uh, the system, so in different pages. So it's, it's important that we get them right. And then here, just as a summary, the Uniswap pool where this address was uh, sort of participated in this case maker uh, die synthetics uh, right bitcoin and so on and so forth now the free roi numbers so to uh, understand them i i encourage you to think uh, starting from the price roi so essentially what this means is like this address uh, and and for, don't forget that this address may have invested uh, or has invested in a number of pools in a number of different times so it, this is a high level summary but I level from a summary perspective um, the investment, uh, the Uniswap investment, uh, experienced a loss of six percent from a price perspective. Meaning, from the time the asset was invested to today, there was a the just from a price perspective compared to the US dollars, there was a loss of six percent. Uniswap actually made up. 1.53 percent so produces a, a return of 1.5 and so the net ROI is actually the sum of the two you know the price effect and Uniswap effect so minus 6 plus 1.5 it gives us a minus 4.5 net ROI on this account overall so this is the way you should, uh, you should think about these three numbers now as I mentioned also in another video you can click on this Ethereum uh, toggle and everything will be shown in Ethereum and the number will be essentially displayed uh, compared to Ethereum. Now let's go back to uh, perhaps dollars and we can now zoom into one specific address. So I'll click on the row and here is the uh, the page which is the deep down on this specific address. So now what we see here is the uh, 3600 is the value of the address today. By the way, only the Uniswap investment. Let's uh, uh, remember that. And then it was an investment of $3,700. So this is the value of all the investment when, when they were made. 
and, and so the net ROI is actually the uh, you know the proportion the ratio of these two versus here's the value if you hold uh, if you held so what does it mean so if instead of providing liquidity to Uniswap, you were all just holding Ethereum and the tokens, and you would just park them on this, you know, somewhere, they would have this effect. So, the, you know, and this is just the reduction between the investment and the value uh, of holding is just due to purely price variation. Now, what we see here is uh, essentially how is this, you know, 3,600 current value made? Is made of a number of investment in different pools. So Ethereum Maker, 2,100. Ethereum Synthetics, about 400. Ethereum Link, about 300, and so on and so forth. So here we see the breakdown of the pools where we invested. Uh, the value when we invested. So for example, in the Ethereum Maker, we invested you know, an equivalent amount of $300, and now it's worth $2,100. Now, Again, we see the different, the free, you know, uh, the, the sort of the breakdown of the RI in this free label. So let's just focus on this first row. So basically, you know, we invested at some point, and uh, just due to the price, there was a minus 10% uh, variation. Now Uniswap produced 2%. So the net ROI, the net whatever variation, is minus 8.1%. Don't forget that for every label there is an info button. So if you want to sort of uh, dip, do a deep dive into uh, with, with a little more time into what each label means, you can also do that. So now the, we can go one step deeper and click on the specific pool to see what happened into this pool. And this is almost the most interesting uh, you know level because it is the more most detailed level of what's going on in this pool. So we click here. And uh, so first the numbers here at the top, they just reflect this pool. And so, you know, again, we invested 2,300. Now the value is 2,100. But if we held, uh, it would be 2,070. Now, what we see here is first a chart of the value of our investment. We talked about the chart feature into another, in another video, but the idea here is that essentially the, you, you can see the evolution of the, the value you invest in Uniswap over time up to the same day, uh, January 7. You can, uh, the value is the sum of two components. That's why the two blue and gray are stacked. Uh, the, the value of, you know, if we held and the impact of Uniswap. So the value is actually the sum of the two. You can also, you know, exclude, for example, the, the gray um, uh, chart and, and see only the impact of Uniswap. You can see here the fees accumulating. Uh, and, and the reason why some of part of the chart may go below zero is the impermanent loss. There is a specific video on the impermanent loss, perhaps I, I'll link it in the, the description. But beyond the chart, what we let's take a look at the numbers and see what, what we have here. So the first row is just a more recap of, of uh, numbers that we already seen. Uh, so value today 2100 value invested 2300 and then the free whatever uh, triple ROI measurement right what is due to unit drop what is due to the price and what is the net uh, sum of the two we can also see here in practice our investment how you know if we were to divest today what would that mean in terms of uh, you know how many eater how many maker uh, we we will get so 2.2 maker 7.35 eater then another interesting panel is like more specific data, and this is more specific data about the Uniswap pool. In particular, how many liquidity tokens do we own? So a liquidity token is that basically when you add liquidity to Uniswap, uh, Uniswap gives you back um, some liquidity, some tokens of that pool were invested. In this case, we have we own in practice 6.3 uh, liquidity uh, token for the pair. Uh, Ethereum maker and out of a total of 10,000. So basically our share of the pool, our ownership of the pool is 0.06%. This is actually very interesting because uh, if you remember uh, the, all the mechanism of Uniswap is based on giving you fees accumulating in the pool as a percentage of uh, you know the, how much you own of the pool. So this may change because the pool grows, somebody you know, invest or there is a big divestment from the pool and therefore the pool gets smaller and you your ownership goes up. So it's important also to keep this in mind. 
Plus another inter interesting thing is like the current Ethereum price and the current maker price. So this is interesting in two senses. So you can, first you can see what uh, were the assumption of this analysis. Consider that maybe some latency. And so you know this analysis is based on 145 uh, dollars per Ethereum and 282 dollars per maker. Uh, typically the latency is not much, but in the free version it can be whenever up to a few hours. Um, and, and, and so this gives you the context, but also gives you the context of if you compare to, you know, down below, there is a list of all the investment you made. And the, there is also the price point at where you made the investment. So, for example, in this case, there were a few investments made in uh, October, November, where the price of Ethereum was 177, 187. And so, you know, this puts the context, put it in context, uh, you know, when we say price change to where the price is now. Right, so it gives you more context. Then here there is another table which is comparing the, in detail the Uniswap uh, investment you made versus just all in. And I don't want to go in the details here. This is a even more <clears throat> specific comparison, but there is another video specific on to how to read this table, what that means for your investment and for your whatever understanding of the context. I link in the description that specific video which will take you through all the dynamics. To, to really understand and you know understand the cost of the opportunity cost of your of your investment and then like we're basically done there are other two tables one as we mentioned is the table <clears throat> which summarizes all the investments in that you that you made in the pool so for example in this case you know as we said like October November December and for each transaction there is um, how many Ethereum and Maker you added what were the price at that point and therefore what was the value invested. This is very important to track what you did. But also the other important thing is this table up here, which is the closed trade. So basically the transaction out when you brought back your investment and uh, for each transaction out, for example, in this case, there were a few in, uh, in November, there is the value where you sold and the initial value of that. So and also the obviously the, whatever the ROI calculated. This is important because it gives you an idea of the return, the actual return of the you know divestment when you exited your position. And also, for example, in the case of whatever tax return and reconciliation, you can actually uh, calculate all the capital gains from here, uh, saying you know how much you sold for, how much you know you bought for, and therefore if you need to declare or uh, for your accounting. This can be very useful to export this table and, and work it, for example, in Excel or whatever you want. So I hope this gives you a little perspective and a little more advanced use of Uniswap ROI in terms of really understanding what you're reading and how you, what you're doing with Uniswap. There are, as usual, the uh, Let's Connect buttons here and there in the platform. So if you want to carry out the conversation one-on-one, -on -one, reach out to me, feel free. Uh, otherwise, if you like the video, <clears throat> give it a like or or share it or subscribe to the channel. We're talking about DeFi, specifically Uniswap and, and what's happening with also Compound uh, and, and more in general consideration around DeFi. So if, you, if you're interested in the topic, um, uh, please subscribe and, and, and be part of the community. Uh, talk to you soon. See you in the next video.